feel like that's an occasion whiskey. It's bendy. It's bendy. We love to eat our <laughs> I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe. subscribe. And we're doing a comparison today. Another comparison. Yes. Two cask strengths. So we've got our cask strength tasting coming up mm -hmm. at the end mm -hmm. of May. We've got the Ben Roma cask strength yep. and the new Ardnamarkin cask strength. Nice, nice. And they are both slightly peated but not mega, mega yeah. peaty ones. So Ben Roma is peated to about 12 mm -hmm. ppm, mm -hmm. I think. And um, Ardnamarkin do a peated run and an unpeated run and put them together, I think. Which I quite like. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be half whatever the peated one is, which I think I have in my head is about 15 ppm, but yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. So, I know. Like I always seven. find like uh, Ben Romick tastes more than twelve ppm. So do I. I. But that's the thing. You when they're measuring the levels of peat at the start, you kind of take the the statement of the ppm with a pinch of salt because yep. it's going to lose phenols all along the way. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And um, is it Todd of Egg who are actually measuring the peat after? I think now? so. Yeah, I heard Which of another one as well the other day, but I can't remember. I feel like they should all start doing that because that just mean, it just means more then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, because that's what the peat levels in the thing you're actually drinking yeah, is. Yeah. Um. So should we see what they're like? Yes. Okay. Cool. So, Ben Romick is ten years old. Did we say no? Eleven years old. Just about. Eleven years old. Um, we think, I guess, if they put an age statement, it would have to be 10, because I don't know if it's got round to its Which, birthday yeah, yet. Yep. So it was distilled in 2010, and it was bottled in 2021. Right, cool. Um, so we don't know which... What, we don't know exactly how old mm. it is. Um, but yeah, 10 or 11. 10 to 11 years, cool. Um, and this one's First Fill Casks Sherry. First Fill Sherry. Casks. Right. Love the smell of that one. The smell of this one it smells like the Jorvik Viking Centre in York. You've got a more relevant reference to it though, because you were there like a matter of months ago. More I was recent. there when I was ten. <laughs> it smelled the. I think the Yorvik Center smelled a wee bit more like jobby, like. Yeah, maybe it was a certain section then. That's sweeter, but it's like leathery and like hay smoke and like outside and smoke. Fire smoke. Yep, definitely. It's got more like of a the wood smoke. The I... nicer smells of Yorvik. Yeah, but without the. Badder smells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the jobbies and rot rotting veg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that smells lovely. Mm. Really nice, yeah. Really it nice. Smells really dry. And quite like just rounded. It smells totally complete. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. That smells just like a really. Oh. Even on the smell, I'm like, I might have to get a bottle of that. I love it. Yeah, that smells so I good. I say that all the time, but I usually wait till the end. I'm like, oh, I'd have a bottle of that. Mm. But that feels like just my kind of whiskey. And it's limited as well, isn't it? It's just 18... Uh, 18 casks. Yep. A vatting of 18 casks. Mmm. Oh, Shall we? velvety. I can't stop smelling that. Velvety. It smells velvety and chocolatey oh, and rich. So... I really like that I one. think it's got like a savoury bit. It's like you're outside at a campfire. Cooking your dinner. Mm -hmm. Like the smoky bit's quite savoury. Yeah, smoky. Like, like smoky oh. baked beans and... Like you're cooking oh. something on the toast, like cooking mm -hmm. toast on a on a barbecue or something. Yep, yep. Oh, oh, I really like that oh, one. Oh, the smell oh. of that's amazing. I could smell that all day. Oh, I'm usually dying to get in and try it, but that the smell. The I could just have that gorgeous, smell. Yeah. Oh, pears. Oh, yeah, definitely. Pears and peaches and rounded oh. fruitiness. Pears and maybe a wee banana, like a very artificial banana again. Mm -hmm. Foamy bananas. Foamy bananas. <laughs> Anytime we mention bananas. <laughs> like a little bit briny, a little bit sea air on that one. That's so much sweeter, I think, than other Yeah, yeah. Well, I find them nearly. all quite sweet. I found oh which one was it? One of the batches I thought was a bit more salty savoury. Mm, batch five and six for me were almost yep. identical, but that's when I first started tasting the peat smoke. And that doesn't really smell very peaty at all. No, but we've just had our faces in that in one, so that's moment, hard yeah. to Maybe but I'm getting under. definitely a coastal note on this one. That one smells a lot more savoury now. Oh, leather. I get the yeah. leather now. And then... Oh, I love this. That is like that. you're eating fruit by the sea. 
Yeah, definitely. That's it's like you're really having good. a picnic by a pier. Oh, I really like, I like, I'm liking oh. the smell of, oh, I don't know which one actually. I'm liking the smell of that one better when I've compared it to that one, but I really like the smell I of I like the one. smell of that one when I first smelled it. That's smelling quite dry and leathery to me now compared yeah. to this one. I think we should try the Ardemarkin first. Yeah, definitely, though. definitely. Right, so the, yeah, what's the, what's the strength of this I one actually? Check. That was the good. strength of both. The 58.7 for your Ardemarkin. Ah, oh, 58.5 for the Benoit. Ah, so they're basically almost the same. The same. And this one, we don't know, is it bourbon or sherry? We can scan that QR code on the back because they do the thing where you can scan the QR code and find out exactly what's in there. Which I love. peachy and light but briny CBD. I really like the smell of that mm. one. Oh, I get a wee ashy hint now actually. A wee tiny bit of peat now the Benomics. Mm -hmm. like, yeah now that's a wee. Yeah. Sweet taste. Slange. Mmm. Mmm. Really free. Oh much more um, dry and ashy and peaty on the taste. I'm quite surprised. I find that really sweet. I feel like that tastes a wee bit like um, cotton candy uh, grapes. grapes. Mm -hmm. It you. does. Yep. But it's got. I'm definitely getting the peat smoke in that. Oh, I think that tastes like peach sweetie. So that's so mm. that's so much sweeter than I was expecting. That's funny. I'm getting that peatier than I expected. That is lovely, though. Oh, I really like it that one. It is more mm. of what I say about Ardemarkin, though. I keep saying to people, it's like it's an ideal sharing whiskey because it's got a wee bit of everything. Yep. 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 Tiny bit of peat, tiny bit of coastal, little bit of bourbon, little bit of sherry. It's got a little bit of everything. It's total all rounder. I'm getting a bit more of the saltiness now. I think. Mmm. It's all sweet up front. Oh, it's like burnt seaweed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I really like that. They're so complex. Mm. It's such a good whiskey for the age of it. It's just mm. like so. Mm hmm. Chewy. Yep. Cheers. Mmm. That's lovely as well. <laughs> That's so lovely. That's I like totally it. Totally different. Words. Totally mm. different. Very velvety thick again. It's smaller. <laughs> smaller. <laughs> I feel now like that Ardemarkin is more unusual. That's gotten a bit soapier for me all of a sudden. Soapy seaweed. Soapy seaweed. Oh, cherry lips. Oh. Yeah, the way that cherry lips are a bit mm -hmm. so soapy, yeah. And fruity. Mm. Oh, the Ben Romick is really, they're both lovely in their mm. own right, I think. Oh, they are, they're both so good. I'm really impressed with both of those. Mmm. Mmm. That in particular. Leathery. Ashy, but, then but not too peaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one, but then also this one. <laughs> They're so good. It's nice to try it cast strength as well because it, you oh, like. We'll try some water. You wonder how like how much flavour you are losing now when that's watered down to like yeah. six percent. And this way, you've got the option to yeah, water it down as much as you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that I'm snobby about whiskies that are forty six percent. Just like. That like that would be watering it down to what like another like third of it maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, so they, that's a good comparison, I think. Totally different. Totally different. We thought possibly would be quite similar because of the levels of peat. We um, both a bit sherry. And the sherry, but yeah, um, I think they're totally, totally opposite different. ends. Which do you like best? Should we put them together? Oh, we should. I don't know which one I would choose. Oh, I feel like um, before dinner, after dinner. Ardenmarkin before. Yeah. This. I think I'd probably at the moment choose the Ben Romach mm -hmm. only because I've already got quite a lot of other Ardenmarkins in That's the house. That's more than fair, yeah. So I would like it. fill that gap. With but that. Yeah. But I think I think also the Ben Romach is more typical of what I would buy. It's quite a bit richer, I think, which is not mm. necessarily what you'd always buy, but it's more peaty at the very least, I think. Yeah. And ashy yeah. and dry. Yeah. And I think um, and I think it depends what I was eating. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like that the Ben would be nice with cake or something, but that would be nice yeah. with cake. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's lovely. Quite like that. I had a bit Ooh. more Ben Romick than I did at uh, Ardenmarkin. I had about the same, so that's 50 50 in mine. Yeah, that's nice. Like that. Mmm. Mm. But less distinctive. 
less distinctive. Yeah, more they're obscure. better on their own. <laughs> uh, so if you want more videos like this, subscribe and join us again next time um, for whatever else we'll be doing. We've got some stuff planned. Yes, we do. do we? We're gonna get out and about. Oh yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mm. Exciting so things. yeah, subscribe for some of that and join us again next time. Cheers. Bye. Lunch. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Holy, this is a professional. A professional. A profession. <laughs> is it? Is it? <laughs> it takes hard work and dedication to acquire to this drink knowledge. To drink at this time in the morning. Yeah.